Previously on Monofinder, Lambda chased the nomads into Ilya's cauldron, but Ilya herself contacted Lambda and attempted to sway the Monofinder to her side. When Lambda refused to join, Adara used Ilya's power to transform into a fiery humanoid boss. Alright, let's go forward. Cauldron Core. Let's go end this madness once and for all. Here, have some of the magic from my mana jar. It would be of more use to you. Coma leaves now heal additional 50 HP. Okay. Let's go end this madness once and for all. What? An ambush? Lambda, you go on ahead. I'll keep these brutes busy. Ugh, they're locking me in. Bring it on, lowlives. Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? Oh, no, I'm still alive. Oh, are you mad because I hit your puppy? Prepare to die, mana finder. A boss already? Blessed sword. Damn it! I want to make have them use their end stones for uh, their uh, ores first. Whoops, wrong one. I want to use the counter stance. I think that's good against uh, uh, humans. Ow! I'm on fire. Shit. Thunder ore? Okay. Is Scar dead? You tend Scar's wounds. And Scar stands back up. Well, at least we have the Heaven Stone. We can't go up here, though. So maybe, uh, maybe we'll create a shortcut later? Can I not go back here? No time to waste. Ugh, free at once! So much talent was wasted on you. Life wasted. Your search ends here, Mana Finder. That's a lot of dudes. What? One down. Ugh. So I can't use any magic, huh? Target Nomad. Wow, he dies quick, but he has healing. But Scar's gonna eat you alive. Savius' is staff? Okay, I, I'm guessing that's a new weapon type. Oh, I took a bit of damage again. But I don't think I should go back to the plant yet. Okay, how do I use this? It's non-elemental, so that means uh, against f physical resistant enemies, it could be better. A boring but practical staff. F befitting his personality. Oh, this is a trap. 
This is the strong- he's one of the stronger ones, huh? You kill family. Now me kill you. Is he gonna start throwing stuff at me? Lump of Ash? Oh, okay. oh I could've ambushed him, but it's probably not worth it. Okay. Does this guy know how to use end stone? So that is the question. I don't think he's using end stones, so let's go ahead and imbue whichever I have the most of right now. Okay, Meteor Rain, fourfold. Hold on. Does it do it? Will, will ele my elemental attacks chain to the Meteor Rain's hit, uh, hits? Let's try it. Holy moly, we did a ton of damage. He's powering up. You're not getting a next attack. Blessed Sword. Alright. Use a magma carp to lure a powerful Smay. Yes. YOLO. Why is that strange music? I activate and water. Unfortunately, nothing is good against dragons here, so I'm just gonna have to use whatever. Hopefully, Scar doesn't die in one hit. That's not a bad choice at all. What? So how many turns do I have? Oh boy. I can't- I'll never be able to interrupt it! Can I? Dang it, if only Scar could imbue himself with elements! I feel- it seems like such a necessary skill for survival, and yet Scar doesn't have it. Is there any way to teach a dog this trick? It was- okay, good, we interrupted it. Keep going. This seems like a good combination. Savius' staff. This thing seems to have really high defense, so using a magic staff gives me an edge because I'm already buffed with magic. Ugh! Damn, Scar's already dying, but I just need a little bit more. Gah. One more push. Yes. Smay, scale, fire, ore, and pocket flame. No, he has a dog as well. So we have to fight Octavius and his dog? But where's a Zane? Is he doing something? Uh, is he already doing his own plan? About time you made it, Mana Finder. You and I are not so different. We're both willing to kill those that oppose our values. Why does the truth anger you? How many of us nomads did you kill in order to get here? It was all in self-defense. You guys are going to leave us to die with our Mana Stones. Self-defense. Call whatever you want. This w if you had just- uh, uh, if you didn't bar try to take this your Mana Stones, this never would have happened. If you want to live a Mana Stoneless life, do it yourself. Don't get us involved in it. That's everyone else's choice to make, not yours. Whatever you makes you sleep at night. It doesn't change the fact that you killed your own kind in order to get here. Azane, hold the purge. What? 
What do you mean, hold a purge? Octavius, this is not the time for games. We're so close to achieving our sacred duty. Leave the monosomes untouched until I kill his mana finder. What is with his bizarre sense of honor? I want her to have a reason to fight me. That's right, if he destroyed the stones now, then Lambda would have no reason to stay here. She'd just have to retreat. You brute, you're only holding me back at this point. Fail to obey me and I will toss you into the cauldron myself. Fine, but make it quick. But how are we supposed to get there? We have no way to travel across actual lava. I can't figure you out. You don't really need the monostones yourself. You're strong. You could survive without a barrier. True, but I'd have to eat every freaking coma leaf in the world in order to survive. The, uh, the idea of a safe haven may sound comforting, but do you realize that such order comes from a price? There's no place for the strong. Order not conforming there. There's no room for dissent. You have conf uh, you require conformity as well in some ways. You had that... Uh, you had... Uh, uh, I think Lania... Uh, that leader uh, give up on uh, mingling with the commoners for the sake of becoming a leader. In order to conform to your tribe's values. Why are you so eager to limit your potential? I use my strength to protect those I care about. It's only natural to want a better life than wild beasts. No other species looks out for their weak. They don't even think about it. It's unnatural. And us humans only do so because the human monosomes allow it. Enough chatter. Draw your weapon, mana finder. Show me how much you yearn to save your people. We'd like to save your progress so far. Let's keep a separate slot. It's just so I don't have to view the cutscene again, huh? No. So he's gonna use endstones as well, right? Wait, why didn't I activate my spell? Oh, now it works. He's <sighs> not using any elements, though. What the heck? Is he waiting for me to make the first move? I hate it when they do that. Fine, I'll make the first move in terms of elements and hope I don't die. I'll use Beast Killer on your Hexa. No! I'm not using my Unleash. Not yet. I must wait for the perfect timing. Fast. But you fool, I counterattack you. One down. What? How long does, does that buff last? Bruh! I- I want- I- I want- look at that! Haha. <laughs> yeah, that- multi-hit attacks are really powerful if you combine them with your elemental ores. And I got his hat. So you won, Mana Finder. Listening to Azane, Ilya, is my only regret. What? Why? Why do you regret all of a sudden? And why are you jumping in the lava? See you on the other side, Mana Finder. Don't tell me he's gonna transform into a lava beast, just like... Uh, 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 just like that... Uh, 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 I our sister. Damn it, there's a lot of names to remember. Finally, thanks. Boy, did he outlive his purpose. Let the purge begin. Ah, oh, shit. How do we even get over there? Literally, do we just snipe him with our bow or something? What am I supposed to do? How are you jumping like that? Okay, so he's not... Uh, there's still no... So I still have to fight a Zane to the death? Okay. 
Okay. Is it... I wonder if I actually have time to mine all this shit. That'd be pretty funny, wouldn't it? Come on a shard. Come on a shard. And he's not gonna let me get the last one so easily, is he? Enjoying the show. Oh, are you here to stop me? Oops, there goes another monstone. My, my, you're no fun. Prepare to die, Monofinder. Okay, first turn we actually... Let's see, use end fire. Stay back. I don't know which command you're currently on, but let's do that anyways. Defense. Okay, it seems to do exactly uh, 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 everything except one hit point. But if you guard it, you take a lot less damage. Scar. Follow me. Now we just spam and spam and hope I can kill him before he kills me. Scar, use your super move. Still exhausted. Let's whack him again. Keep attacking and hope we win. Ow. Vulnerable? Why am I vulnerable to that? That does not look like a war move. And win. I actually forgot to equip Octavius' hat, but I don't need it. The strategy is just to defend on the first turn and go uh, full ham afterwards. Fine, you may have won this time. But you're no match against the one true goddess. You two are a victim of the gods, Monofinder. At least you'll die alongside the monostones you coveted so much. That's enough, you halfwit. Choose your next actions very carefully. I'll let you here, coward. This is not over. We will purge Avi. Dastard. Let's worry about him later. We need to aid Lambda. I admire your determination, child, but it pains me to see you spending it on such an unworthy cause. Alas, you have made it pretty clear that you won't join my crusade. I guess because I kept saying no to all of her questions, now it's I I've lost the chance to join the Ilya path. I want to save that for another playthrough, though. I have a feeling if I joined the Ilya path, I would have to fight the Mana Finders, and then my base would be with the, uh, uh, with the Nomads instead. Answer me this. Do you think that mon mankind would have been better off had it never harnessed the power of the monostones? Hmm. No. I'm sure life expectancy went up because of the monostones. We disagree on the basis of my crusade, then. I still respect you, Lambda. You would thrive in the world I envision. We shall meet again, child. Maybe she would, but, uh, but I think people should be free to choose which god's philosophy they want to follow. Not everyone wants to be a hardcore social Darwinist, and not everyone wants to live under the safety of the mana stones. And they should really be free to choose that, without interfering with anyone else's decision to choose that kind of path. Finally, you're awake. Don't mind me. It was my turn to watch over you. You were unconscious for days. Fred, Einar, and me saved you. Where is Azane? Did we recover the Mana Stones? I think this is, uh, asking if we recover the Mana Stones is the more important answer because uh, right now we uh, we really need to survive and we might not have enough for later. We managed to recover a few Mana Stones, but not enough to see month's end. Oh no. And then there's more bad news. 
The Oracle has fallen ill. He is currently bedridden. We- Damn. I hope the Oracle taught someone else how to strengthen the barrier, because if he dies, we're screwed. Come see him when you are ready. We need to talk. Yeah, that was a branching point, but I feel like there, but there's supposed to be one more branching point after the Ilya portion. Strange. They say Ilya ending is supposed to be a secret ending, yet it feels like the branching point for her comes way earlier than uh, the, uh, than the, the this current uh, than the next branching. Uh, the, what is the, uh, the branching points for the more common endings? Anyways, I have to remember to rest up too, and I got a lot of spirit dust just for beating all those guys. There wasn't even any random encounters in that area. It was just nomads. They they must have eliminated all the monsters to make this place their base. Too bad they couldn't do it to the earlier areas of the cauldron. Heh. <laughs> Instantly teleported to their tent, huh? Lambda, thank the gods you are back on your feet. Oh no, his eye! Did his eye... Uh, uh, got my leg! Oh, his leg. It looks like his eye got damaged too. But who cares about my leg? Lambda's here. It's nice to have you back, Lambda. Lambda, father is not well. That's actually putting it lightly. Don't tell me that Zane cursed him or something. Just, to, just, just so that we'd have no more barrier. He overexerted himself feeding monsters to our barrier. You really need to teach that art to someone else so to split the workload. Not only that, but hearing about my sister's passing crushed him. You do the right thing, Lambda. Adora made her choice the moment she left us. Yes, we are not blaming you. Nonetheless, before the Oracle fainted, he pointed out the location of our next target. If he doesn't recover this, uh, this place, well, we are our last giant monostone, though. We n damn it, we, how, how can no one else learn the arts of the Oracle? Have hope, Sarkis. Enough of hope. Hope won't magically net us more monostones. We need to face reality. What if the Oracle dies? What then? Now's not the time, Sarkis. Show some respect for my father, please. Let's focus on the task at hand just like he asked us to. Please. Heh, <laughs> you're starting to sound just like him. What? Am I? But well, I'm still a good-looking young man. I said sound, not look. Well, th then I still sound like a fine young man, don't I? Sure, my friend, sure. I'll make my way to the monastone. I'll have- I have no time for banner. Hey man, I know we are about to go extinct and all, but I'm sure we can spare a few minutes to brief Lambda. You can do that. What a clown. Ahem, Lambda. The monastone my father located lies far west, on the edge of the- of AV. I don't mean to discourage you, but it's a very long trek. I'll stay. My leg has yet to recover and I will be looking out, out after father. And I'll go with you. You're probably just gonna s whack people with swords just like the other guy. I'll be waiting for you at the Evergloom Rainforest, west of here. Good luck retrieving the giant monostone. Fred should be waiting for you west of here, and at the Evergloom Rainforest. These are dark times. Even though we won, it still feels like we lost. Morrow, a late Lobana finder, crafted a legendary weapon capable of smashing dragons. Unfortunately, the whereabouts of said weapon are a mystery. Probably somewhere in the western uh, section. Perhaps it lies somewhere in Avi's edge where he sadly perished. That would have helped earlier when we were fighting that dragon. I'll take that heaven stone off your hands. Here's one of my treasures. Quick saying. Wow, you've delivered eight heaven stones. This is great progress. You know, back in Mile Hill, I used to work at the same academy as Ro, the Avian Academy. No, not the Monahill Academy. Us scholars of the lesser-known Avian Academy were often perceived as contrarians. Anyways, thanks for aiding my research, Lambda. Don't tell me everyone in the Academy got exiled. You've brought me eight Heaven Suns so far. I still need more for my research. So I can't go back to that section. Good thing I grabbed... Uh, good thing I reloaded and grabbed everything I could there.
Oh, there was a red berry behind this mon- uh, uh, this coma leaf plant. I didn't realize that. Okay. I'm new around here. I can't believe this place exists. Got any tips for a new guy like me? Uh, be useful, I guess. To avoid the chances of getting re-exiled. I'll do my best. Mind your own business. Oh, I will. Apologies. Here you took on Octavius's tribe yourself. Thank you, Monofinder. Now I can go back to gathering mushrooms in peace. Hopefully the other nomad tribes are more open to diplomacy. Honestly, the best case scenario would be if the if those if the tribes since they, they can live without monostones, but maybe we can uh, cut a deal. Any monostones they find, they can trade to us for food and such. That way, they're not directly benefiting from the monostones while we can, and then they can uh, get other resources that they might actually need. That would have been the better solution to peace, I feel like. Urban Evergreen Rainforest? That place is depressingly awful. I have a feeling it's going to be full of all kinds of nasty ailments. I also killed some dragons, by the way. Without a hammer? That's impressive. I've been training to break my own record. I will swim all the way to the White Trail and back. Wish me luck. So much stuff has been happening lately in the settlement. Yet here I am picking up manure. Mine's a simple life. Yohim asked me to investigate creating healing potions using flowers. He seemed worried too. Is this something amiss? My sister needs to stop worrying about me. No tragedy will change my mind. I will become a modifier when I grow up. Something is amiss. The oracle would normally be on my back telling me to stop chopping down these trees. Rumor has it the oracle is a bed and that his condition is, well, deteriorating. Back in my younger days, I would salivate at the prospect of fading leadership, for that is prime time to be a robber. But I owe him so much that I can't help but wish it's nothing but a silly rumor. Someone told me the type of mushrooms my brother eats that don't cause sleepiness. Is it all an act? My grandma is becoming increasingly hostile towards anything that challenges her mindset. Is that normal? Is it due to her old age? I cannot imagine what being a nomad must be like. Living among filth all the time. Disgusting. Oh, don't be alarmed. I'm not a nomad anymore. I've deserved a cause, thanks in part to you. I'm ashamed of my past behavior and grateful to be given a second chance. You're not a spy for a Zane, are you? I may be too injured to fight, but I shall stand guard here and protect the settlement from other nomads even if I have to put my life on the line. When did this happen? When the hell do you get a redemption arc? One of the strangest experiments that have been conducted as part of the infamous Tuonella expedition was throwing chickens into the abyss. I heavily protested the experiment. It was stupid. What did they expect would happen? That's May's scale. You fell to the rare beast's May. I'll take that off your hands. Here's your reward. A fire shroom. Great job, Lambda. Impressive, Lambda. You felled at ten rare beasts. I wish I could go hunting with you. Do you know hunting was forbidden back in Monohill? King Vicar forbade it to keep us from venturing outside the city walls. Most people didn't really care or were oblivious about it anyway. There was no need for hunting after all. Only after I was exiled, I realized I had a knack for hunting. Thanks for listening. I want you to have my beastly claws. What? Does that upgrade a scar? Keep up the good hunt. What? It's it just it has high critical and bleed rate, but nothing. Uh, it doesn't have any advantages over any species. Dang, I was hoping it'd be an upgrade to Scar because he really needs it. Hmm, these crops quivered. Could this be an omen? The boy has gone mute. The trauma from the exile was too much. May have a grim outlook on life, but this boy here is a testament to our resilience. There is beauty and hope in that. My husband used to bring me sunflowers from the far west. He loved telling me how much he enjoyed the sights over there. Behold the Nomad Slayer! I'm done worrying about my little brother. He can do whatever he pleases. I'm not his mother. Hey, Mana Finder. Thank you for everything what you do for us. I command you to descend the Tuonella and bring me its riches. 
Anxious gossip abounds these days. Farming keeps my brain away from that. It's great for my mind. I wonder, why is Yohem single? Do you think he has or had someone back in my hill? I'm too afraid to ask. I just don't understand why she hates my horse so much. I just don't understand why he is so obsessed with his horse. The academics of Mono Hill were investigating creating magic spells. Vicar quickly shut down said research. Perhaps he felt threatened. Hello, Mono Finder. Thank you for your service. Please help yourself and grab anything you may need. More loot. Coins. Wait, an, an apple dropped. Oh no, it's a yellow coin I missed. Okay. Call night. Yeah, let's see what the new quests are. I may save the combat-related quests for later because I feel like they expect you to do at least a few sections of the main story first. Your voices in your dreams. I need Lemna's help again. I wish I wasn't so alone all the time. I wonder when Scar will visit. It's time to teach him a new lesson. I've gotten a few tips about more rare beasts. I could use Lambda's help hunting them down. Lambda, come visit me in my tent. I'll have an exciting new quiz ready for you. I could use some help. I could use some help at the pub. I wonder if we can get that modifier to play our new game. Plus, we owe her a surprise reward from last time. Okay, so you have new ones now, right? Yep, Thunder Army. Exiled Ape. Deva. Wormkin and Mana Dragon. Hopefully we'll have the hammer by the time I run to that one. Alright, let's hope this next one gives him uh, elemental abilities. Hi Lambda. Hi Scar. I have a pre I've prepared a new lesson for Scar, but this time he'll be on his own. What? This lesson will be encourage Scar to heighten his senses by escaping the bush labyrinth. What? A, a maze? Want Scar to give it a shot? Alright. I can probably retry as many times as I want. Follow me, Scar. Oh no. It's just a maze mini game. <laughs> Yes! With time to spare! Okay, but what does that even give him? Good boy! Please give him- oh, Coma Biscuits- uh, Okay, we get a Coma Biscuit buff. Anything else? Scar's stats have gone up. Okay, good. But I was hoping for elemental uh, uh, or usage. So what do you think about this lesson? Scar loved it. I am happy to hear that. I wasn't sure it would work out. Pet Scar. Seriously, can we just get, get him the ability to use uh, or, elemental ores? That would give him such a huge advantage. Allow him to survive elemental attacks easily instead of dying horribly every time we run to a boss. Okay. How high are his stats now? Oh, he's actually higher than Lambda in certain stats, I guess. Magic attack, not so much. But everything else is still pretty high. This will help him catch up a bit to make up for his lack of equipment upgrades. Please be something sane. Hello again, Lambda. I need a huge favor. Again. I would love to help you. Okay, better not be bartending, though. You're so kind. The tea was su a success. Too successful, though. People are now need to boost me up. So I'm planning on offering coffee, but I don't have any coffee beans. Can you please fetch ten books of coffee beans from the Evergloom Rainforest? Sure. That doesn't sound too bad. And it's a new area, too, so I, it's kind of on the way, isn't it? I love your attitude. We'll make the settlement a better place, you'll see. Yes, find coffee beans. Good thing I d uh, activated this before starting the next area. Lambda, I have a prepared and exciting new quiz tailor just for you. 
Get ready to challenge your mind. And, ahem, your pockets as well. Cost six yellow coins per attempt. Okay. You've made the right choice. Prepare to have fun. Oh, yes. Six again. Mathematics? Uh... Zero? Yes. Keep it up. Aim for the stars. Question two. Subject matter is... Social studies. Fred. Correct. Keep it up. Aim for the stars. Question three. Geography? Oh no. Se West. Ever gloom. Yes. Correct. It's not bloom, it's gloom because it sucks. Keep it up. Aim for the stars. It's gloomy and depressing. Ha you're halfway there now. Do your best now. Question four. Circuit matter is... Zoology. Oh no. Jackalope? Yes. Correct. That was so f f that was in the beginning of the game. We'd never fought one again because it's just too weak to p pose a challenge. Keep it up. Aim for the stars. Maybe we'll have an upgraded version of it that can actually kick my butt. Five. Matter... Subject matter is... Phomatology? Uh... Barrier? Yes. Correct. I never used it that much, though. Keep it up. Aim for the stars. Down to the final question. This will define your destiny. Final question. Subject matter... History? The car. Yes. That was easier this time, I felt like. You got the final question right. End of quiz. Your final score is... You answered six out of six questions correctly. You have mastered this quiz. Admirable, Lambda. You should consider becoming a scholar. As I promised, here's the reward. Ring of Wisdom? Impressive. You managed to get a perfect score on your first attempt. Here's an extra reward for you. Sugar Cloud. I hope you had fun taking my quiz. I sure did. It's not over, though. I'll start preparing a harder quiz. So never stop studying. Until next time. A magic defense buff? I feel like this is way more worth it than the other one. Yeah, so for this, I have... It has its opposite, so that means it cancel out. Having both gives me huge advantages in terms of magic. But my, I, have, I might be slightly weak to water. Hello again, Lambda. I'm so sorry to bug you again, but my kids have been asking non-stop about you. They want to play a game of tag with you again, but this time with a twist, they say. But the twist was already pretty disadvantageous for me. I know you're a busy modifier, so please don't feel obliged to do it. But if you happen to make time, please speak to PK with the green scarf. What's the twist this time? Landmines? Tripwire? Hey Lambda, how about playing a round of survival tag against my brothers and I? Survival tag? Uh, sure, does that mean I have to run away from them? Let's do it! Where are the rules? You have to tag each of us and ensure you're not it, be it before time runs out. What? Oh man, this sounds confusing. So who's it right now? I see, I have to be able to run from them f until time is up. So like this? I don't know. I see, I have to weigh out the timer cleverly. Why is he so fast? You win, really? I won? Seriously, that kid was super fast. He should become a mana finder instead of playing tag all the time. He'd be able to find the mana stones in no time with that kind of speed. 
He won again, barely. Rats. Whatever. Had to zig and zag him. Rematch, 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 rematch. Mommy, 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 mommy. We want rematch. Rematch. How about next chapter? Don't be disrespectful. Lemda's a busy mana finder. She is keeping all of us safe. Apologies, Lambda. I wish they knew better. Everyone tells you that being a mother is a gift. A blessing. And it is, but no one tells you that it is also a sacrifice. And at times it can be really hard, you know. Like, really hard. I'm deeply sorry. I should not be saying these things out loud. It's okay to feel that way. Oh, Lambda, you are so selfless. I can't help but feel guilty about linking that way, though. My love links mean the world to me. You can feel that way and love your children. Thank you, Lambda. I'll keep that in mind. Allow me to thank you for babysitting my children by teaching you some murderly tricks. Upgrade Como Leaf. Okay. And now let the Mana Finder do her work. Stop bugging her. Okay, Mom. Alright. So, what's the twist this time? I guess an apology is due. Allow us to make it amends by giving you the incredible surprise reward we had promised you. Mars Barrett. We would also like to humbly apologize for our rude behavior. And so we wish to offer you an exclusive opportunity. Oh no. We challenge you to a game of Dodge Rock. Win and will reward you with 13 yellow coins and an astounding surprise. All you gotta do is Dodge Rocks for 40 seconds. What's the catch? Are you up for the challenge? The Dodge Rock is a fee of 60 yellow coins. Rocks aren't cheap. What's the catch? None. We just want everyone to be happy. Are you up for the challenge? The Dodge Rock fee is... Okay, I better save first. Good luck, Mountain Finder. One single hit and you're out. Oh, come on. I won this time. So you won yet again. Actually, she lost. I'm pretty sure I saw a rock hitter. That's true. I saw it too. Seriously? Uh-oh. Looks like this angry modifier wants to bully us. What cheating bully? Abusing your power too much, huh? Here are your free yellow coins. Please don't harass us any further. You still owe me 10 yellow coins. Better pay the greedy bully before she smacks us. You're drunk with power, Mana Finder. Are we gonna do this every freaking time? Was that you dare ask for the astounding surprise? You don't learn, do you? See you later, fool. Dang it, why could... Apparently they have enough resources and power to set up that rock throwing gimmick. So why can't they just use that to become mana finders? And maybe we would have been the nomads faster if we had that kind of power. I'm worried that hers will be another combat quest, but let's see it. Hey Lambda. So you're grounded, aren't you? I finally convinced Papa to unground me. Okay. But you're not going to be training, though. Unfortunately, he confiscated all my spider webs, which means I still can't afford new gear. Luckily, I overheard Yohim again, and this time he said pearls are in high demand. So... Oh no, sounds like an I'll go get the p uh, pearls for you. No, I have to earn them myself. No, if you get- if we bring you, you're just going to get kidnapped again. Okay, then meet us at our usual spot. 
Remember, it's by the western exit. Oh my goodness, no. The hell, don't tell me there's another secret dungeon here that I didn't know about. There you are. I'll show you the way to the underwater cave, where pearls are found. Oh no. I need to get thunder ores in order to survive this one. This way. How does everyone know about all these secret dungeons and I don't? Gobit's here. He knows. Oh man. Am I stuck in this dungeon then? Under our cave. I overheard some settlers talking about this place. Pearls and goodies abound here. But so do sable crabs. Lead the way, Lambda. Let's find at least six pearls. She's not even in the party. Better grab some mana shards, too. Could've warned me about the type of dungeon I would need. I only have seven thunder ores, that might not be enough. I'm guessing each one will be guarded by a crab, and the last one will be guarded by a crab boss. Okay, mana shard. Can I leave if I need to? Yes, I can. Okay, good. That way, if I need to buy more resources, I can. There's a bunch of coma leaves here. That is way too generous. Are there fake coma leaves or something? Shiny coral, that wasn't it. Okay, she's definitely getting kidnapped again. And Gobit's probably gonna sue me. Crab people, crab people. Oh, wh why do they have swords? Cave Dwellers? Soul Replica, maybe? Not really. Sorry, Mr. Crab. Spears? That was pathetic, but that maybe... No, if it was Spears, then that would have done bonus damage. Armored enemies, maybe? Ugh! Swords? It did, it don't, it, uh, Iron Pickaxe did nothing. These guys are really OP. I know, Savius' staff. Haha, -ha, magic is the key to victory. How are these guys critting scars so bad? Ugh, vulnerable. Sorry, Mr. Crab. I may have to swap out my gear. The one that's making me weak to water is gonna be a disadvantage. Water ore and sable crab leg? Okay. One pearl. Pearl and shiny coral. Water ore. Pearl. Shiny Coral. Well, that one's fast. I'll have no choice but to engage it directly. Alright, another one down. Pearl. Water Ore. Mana Shard. And what upgrade do I get this time? Mana Shard times 5. Drown? Oh no, that's the status effect we have to worry about, isn't it? Not good. I don't have anything that cures Drown, do I? N shiny Coral. Mana Shard. Mana Shard. There's a boss there. I'm guessing it guards the final Pearl. 
Shiny Coral. Mana Shard. Coral Snorkel? Does that let me resist Drown? Yes, it does, but is it worth it? Pearl. Compass? Wait, what? Immunity to confusion and rage, but I have a feeling Drown is the one I need right now. So this is good. Now I have plenty of immunities available to me, depending on the situation. Giant enemy crab. And thunder. Follow me. Hmm. I'll save Foresight for when I really need it. I don't know if this thing will use physicals or not. Counter stance, just in case. Drowning? Of course, uh, I can't equip anything to Scar, so he has no defense against that. Savia Staff. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Well, how about Meteor Rain? Oh no, it wasn't enough! Yes, Scar, deal the finishing blow for me! Before he can kill me! Yes! Good boy! Sable Crab Arm again, and Sable Crab Leg, okay. Okay, that's six pearls. We can head back home now. But I'll probably have to fight Mr. Gobit on the way. Leave the underwater cave. Let's head back home. He's probably waiting out right outside. Another quest, another success. This time it did go a lot better, even if she didn't do any damage to the boss. Let me, let me take the pearls off your hands. Here's a little something for helping me out. Emerald Clover. No more adventures the two of you. Gobithia, you are granted again. And I forbid you from talking with this mana finder ever again. But Papa... My decision is final. Final. I hate you, Papa. Oh no! And you, mana finder. Don't you dare come near my child ever again! Well, this quest didn't end so happily, despite uh, despite Go Gobiffia not getting captured this time. So what happened to him this time? Once again, I have not seen Priest Nolan in a while. Could he be in the basement? I tried taking a look, but I heard awful noises coming from the basement. Can you please check on him? I'm worried. Ugh. I saved this for last because I know the monsters here tend to be a lot stronger while not actually having that good experience yield. Why does this guy just have a million basements anyway? Just so he can drink more? Oh crap, the moles respawn? Are you kidding me? Oh, snake type enemies this time. I don't know their weaknesses. There better not be living bushes or something. A worm? Doompede? We don't have... Uh, is it armored, maybe? Cave dweller? Soul replica. Yes, that was the correct weapon. As long as we don't get to have to fight two of them at once. Earth type? Ah! Dirt, that's all we get. Okay, but give me the crystal. I need a new skill. As you shared the monastone to collect his pieces, you caught a glimpse of the gods. Alright. Magic Revive Plus. 
oracles, unlucky individuals tainted by the demoness herself, who fills their minds with treacherous illusions and enticing temptations. Adding insult to injury, they are known to spout nonsense in their this deathbed, a phenomenon known as Last Sight. King Vicar has rightfully ordered them to suppress her gift or face exile. What? But, but how? But... He, tainted by the by Ilya, but... Isn't the Oracle doing the opposite of what Ilya wants by setting up this barrier with mana stones? That co that's so contradictory. And freeze. I'll use Nova. Such power. Nice. You open page in a book forbidden tome, Servants of the Gods. Now this information has been captured through testimony of the persecuted oracles, the veracity of this information may be, be disputed. A few beasts have been blessed by the gods to serve them with godlike chores such as Edge Keeper ensures beasts don't approach the edges of AV. Leviathan reclaims the water that falls from AV. Smay controls Ilya's cauldron. What? So Smay was Ilya's servant. Hope she didn't mind that I killed it. Well, is R Vitro not one of these beasts? Because I feel like Vitro was supposed to be like a, a defense uh, uh, against any invaders of Mana Hill. Because it'd be impossible to return a Mana Hill of that thing in a way. He's here too. There's a lot of books here. Lambda, what are you doing all the way down here? My bad. I should not have left the sanctuary unattended. Do you want to know why I spent so much time down here? Yes. Back in the Mon Hill, I was not a man of faith. I was labeled a rebel. I keep a lot of my own works down here, alongside other anti-Vicar literature. These books may be useless here, but I'm still attached to them. I can't let go. There's no point wallowing in the past. I know that, but it's easier said than done. Especially when I feel my work is incomplete. Let's head back upstairs. I have to go back down here to read the rest of your books, though. Allow me to bless your sword with a greater dose of mana water. Okay. If only you gave me a further upgrade right before the big fight with Octavius. Oh, merciful gods of Avi, listen to your devoted servants plea and bless this sword with your infinite power. Blessed sword became the more powerful heroine sword. That must be its final form, right? Or is there something beyond? Here you go, Lambda. Does that mean the final boss is going to be human? Thanks again, Lambda. May the sword be of use in your journey. Yeah, I don't. I feel like most of the art weapons did not get upgrades. Only the spear and sword. The end of the Vicarcera by no one. Bros and sisters, long have we remained complacent under sedane comfort granted by the allure of safety. Know that it comes with the price of our freedom. Know that it limits our growth. Or potential, and it dictates our way of life, a very way of life. I say we free ourselves from this tyranny of fear. I say we demand King Vicar step down. Yeah, he's the strongest guy in the world, so I don't think that's going to be easy. Forbidden Tome, Natural Order. Mana Hill found with the intervention of the gods is a transgression against the natural order. Disguised as a beacon of hope and progress, the accelerated human development made possible by the kingdom sets the precedent for unsustainable growth and unbounded human avarice. Humanity, emboldened by the Mana Stones, will only bring ruin to all of Avi. Natural order or chaos is the only salvation and is our one true destiny as living beings. Ilya has spoken. What happens when we- Is it possible to run out of Mana Stones? Will the gods uh, only produce it in a finite amount? Zane's Logs? He's- it, Huh, a lot of it, it got skipped. First entry. I've made up my mind. I'll bring Lyria back. We know mine can be used to heal wounds and conjure immense protective barriers. So, is it really that far-fetched to believe it can also be used to res resurrect our loved ones? The Oracle may think so, but I'm growing tired of his directives. That's strange. He wants to use mana to revive his lover, but isn't his uh, isn't Ilya against the use of mana stones? Fourth, after six months of exhaustive research and failed resurrection attempts, I am losing all hope. It certainly doesn't help to feel increasingly antagonized by the sellers. No less thanks to our leader, the Oracle. Have the gods forsaken me? 
No one's extensive library proved to be enlightening. The goddess Ilya says that we are all meant to be governed by the natural order. I wonder if this chaos she preaches so much can be tampered. Tampered? Another dead end. Chaos is not a tangible energy, or perhaps it is not even real. I am done. Done with everything. With everyone. I've become the laughing stock of the settlement. I am a disgrace and no one wants to help me. Not the Oracle, not the Mana Finders. Not Rowan and his machines. If anyone from the settlement reads this, know that my blood is in your hands. You'll find my cold, lifeless body in the northern lake. More logs. Ten. As I gaze upon the night sky's reflection in the northern lake, contemplating my existence one last time before ending my own life, I was graced with the most glorious of sights. A sight that rekindled my will to live. The sight of the one true goddess Ilya. All this time I had been trying to meddle with chaos, but now I see how wrong I was. One must surrender to it, for that is the one single truth. 12. Ilya speaks to me. I can hear her. The whole settlement thinks I've gone completely mad. I pity them. I don't understand the futility of her struggle. And as much as it pains me to admit, the inconsequential duty Lyria died for. This place and all it stands for is a threat that will slowly consume all of AV. 15. Ilya has enlightened me with an important piece of knowledge. Monsters are the bane of chaos. The other gods claim the stones are a blessing, but Ilya knows they, are, they were nothing but a curse. After condemning the gods for filling Avi with monastones, she was forsaken. She knew the stones were meant to favor ma mankind, and to undo the sacred pact of the natural order. 16. After cease ceaseless threats from the Oracle, I've finally been told I will be exiled as soon as tomorrow, and for the first time I am then cool to him, for living in un an unholy place like this only brings misery to the soul. That's it. But why is... Uh, but what, what... Is no one collaborating with this guy? Forbidden record, rambling of an oracle. The following last sight was uttered by an oracle on the year V390. I'm unable to make it sense, any sense out of it, yet the mere thought of it consumes me. A beast that drifts in a sea of stars, gazes upon Avi in all its glory. Slowly does it spin its unanchored mass, only to desperately gasp for air. One last sight for it, one last sight for me. A whole new world beneath. Don't tell me, maybe our usage of mana stones is causing some kind of monster like the Adafagos to spawn. Yeah, it's like Tales of Vesperia. We need in that case we need to find an alternative energy source, like the Heaven Stones. Uh, if only we could cut a deal with the uh, 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 with those uh, uh, nomads. Maybe they bring us Heaven Stones. Uh, uh, maybe we agree to use Heaven Stones and we could form some truce with them. Because heaven stones don't seem to uh, uh, seem to affect things as much as mana stones, I think. The Tuonella expedition sh sure cost us uh, costed us a lot of mana finders, and all for not. Hmm. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Mana Finder. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.